Anybody that's used Windows Server or Exchange Server for a while now will understand that we build all of our admin utilities on top of Windows PowerShell. So what we have within Microsoft Exchange Server is we have the Exchange Management Shell. And the Exchange Management Shell adds an additional 700 plus commandlets that we can use with Exchange Server, which enhances what Windows PowerShell can do. And anything that we do in the Exchange Admin Center, for all intents and purposes, does create PowerShell commandlets in the back end. So one of the things that we need to be able to have a look at is how we can get help from within the exchange management shell because some of these commands can be quite complex so the first thing we need to do is actually launch up our exchange management shell so just down in my taskbar here i have my exchange management shell icon so we'll just click on the exchange management shell icon we'll allow this to launch up and what we have here is we now have welcome to our exchange management shell i've got a few examples just on the main screen here so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm just going to clear off the screen just to make it a little bit easier to read when I type in the commands. Now the first command we've got here is we've got the get hyphen ex command and what that will do is that will list all of the exchange commandlets for us. So if you haven't used PowerShell before if I just do a get hyphen exc and then hit the tab key what that will do is that will start taking me through all of the commandlets that we've got. Now the one I want here is I want the get hyphen ex command and what I want to do here is I just want to pipe that out and do more so that I can fit everything and just page it through. Then we'll hit the enter key and what it does is it goes away and it starts listing all of the exchange commandlets and as you can see there's quite a few of them so at this point here if I just come in and just keep hitting the space bar what it'll do is it'll page me through and as you can see there is quite a few exchange commands that we can use and there's no possible way we can go over every single one in a demo so just control c this don't really want that to go through any further then what we'll do is we'll just clear off the screen now if you want to get some uh, help relating to let's say a noun because everything is verb hyphen noun so for example if we want to do a set hyphen mailbox we want to know what we can do with mailboxes so we can do that with a get hyphen command commandlet so what I've typed in here, I've typed in get hyphen command, space hyphen noun, space mailbox. Then we'll hit the enter key. And that returns back command that's associated with mailbox. So for example, we've got connect hyphen mailbox, disable hyphen mailbox, enable mailbox, get mailbox, so get information related to mailbox, create a new mailbox, remove a mailbox, set information on a mailbox. So as you can see, the command that's are fairly self-explanatory as long as you know where to look. So the command that I'm interested in is the enable hyphen mailbox. So I want some help on that commandlet. So again, we'll just clear the screen off. Then what we'll do is we'll get some help relating to the enable hyphen mailbox commandlet. So what I'm gonna type in here, I've typed in help space enable hyphen mailbox, and then we're gonna pipe that, and we're gonna do more again. So we'll hit the enter key. And what that does is that then goes away and reports back information relating to the enable hyphen mailbox commandlet. Again, as you can see, there is quite a bit of information here, and again, we can page through by just hitting the space bar. So as you can see, quite a bit of information within there. One of the other things we might decide to do at this point here is we might decide, well, I'd like an example of how this would work. So again, we can use the help functionality of Exchange Management Shell in order to give us some examples. So we'll just clear the screen off again. And the command I'm going to issue here is get hyphen help, space, hyphen enable mailbox, and then I'm going to do a hyphen examples and again I'm going to have more so we'll hit the enter key seeing here do I want to uh, run the update help uh, yes we do so we'll just say yes to that and as you can see it returns back some examples for using enable hyphen mailbox so for example here we're going to enable hyphen mailbox hyphen identity alia so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this user we're going to enable the mailbox on that user then what we've got here is we've got enable hyphen mailbox hyphen identity alia and then hyphen archive. So at this place here, we're going to create an in-place archive for the existing user called alia, who's got a mailbox because we created it up in example one. Then example three, finally, what we're going to do at this point here, we're going to enable the mailbox identity alia at contoso.com. We're going to do a hyphen remote archive, hyphen archive domain, and then specify the domain. So what we're doing here is we're creating a remote archive for the existing on-premise user named alia. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create this in our cloud-based organization, which is a very good use of things like Office 365 using archiving because, you know, Microsoft might as well take the hit on the storage rather than me take the hit on the storage. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of just getting some online help or in-place help with Exchange Management Shell. Thank you.